Hi, in this video we'll see how to make a temperature logger using ESP8266. So here are the parts we needed to make these projects are a SD card reader with the SD card and a DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor and an ESP8266 module. I'm using a Node MCU for this project. So here I've connected my card reader SD card reader to my ASP8266 and uh, DHT11 here you can see that near to my SD card I have a DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor I have already written my program in Arduino for this project here you can see that I have used the DHT11 uh, library from Adafruit and also uh, I uh, used the SD a library and SPA library which is already included in Arduino IDE this is a very simple program I am calling the DHT library function and reading the temperature and humidity data and storing in the uh, float that is the variable H and T and I'm writing those two data into my SD card using a function called dhtemp.print the reason I'm using dhtemp.print is here I've used a file name called dhtemp whatever the file name that you're using the same the same file name should be entered here and the text file that I'm re returning in my SD card is temp.txt this is the text file and I'm saving all my data into my SD card I'm gonna upload my program I already upload I'm gonna upload it once again so here the program has uploaded successfully I'm going to open my serial monitor So here's my humidity and temperature data. So it is writing to it my SD card. So whatever the data that is printing on our serial monitor will be written as a text file in our SD card. So this way we can log all the data, whatever the temp whatever the file or if you even you want to uh, uh, store a light intensity or any other data a sensor data you want to store or log into your want to make a data logger you can use this I'm gonna close this I'm going to eject my SD card from my SD card reader and I'm gonna test into my system and check how the value is stored I'm going to stop this program So here you can see that I have a file called temp. So this is the file name we have used to store our data. I'm gonna open this file and I can check it. What is the humidity and temperature data? This is the old data that is before it was happened. So here we have got our new data. So if you are using it again, again uh, using the same file again and again, the data uh, the new data will be open to the file. So here you can see that all the data are here. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you.